If you're into digital marketing, then I'm sure you've met Jenna Kutcher. Online, anyways. Jenna aired a podcast episode where she shared her best tips and tricks for creating quizzes that she's used in her own business and the results that she got from them. Spoiler alert! Jenna Kutcher has added over 100,000 subscribers to her email list by sharing her quizzes on her website. And she makes them look really pretty, too. Notice how this quiz matches all of her branding and someone can take the quiz without ever actually leaving her website. Ampersand Studios, a marketing business, does the same thing. They have a custom quiz cover right here on their website. So when you click take the quiz, the quiz appears and someone's able to take the entire quiz right from the website page. But hold up, these quiz covers look totally different than what you're making in Interact. So how are they doing it? Let's chat through the steps you'll need to embed your quiz just like this on your Show It website so you can show off your amazing quiz and your awesome branding too. The first thing we're going to want to do is log into your Show It account and then open up the design app. From here, choose the website that you're wanting to embed your quiz on. And for purposes of this, I'm just going to change to the desktop only view so you can see this a bit bigger with what I'm working on. So now that we're on our website, let's identify where it is that you want to place your quiz. In this example, I'm going to place it right at the top of my page in this little header section right here. Um, this is actually the custom cover that I've designed for this specific example. So I don't need the Interact quiz cover because here is my quiz title with a brief description and the option to take the quiz. Now, what I want to do within Show It is make sure there are two separate views set up. One as the custom quiz cover that I've designed, and the second, the actual quiz that people will be able to answer the quiz questions and then ultimately see their result. So let's go ahead and set up the first view. I'll click on the header section because that's the section that I'm working with here. I'll choose these three little dots and click on add canvas view. Now, all of the elements from this custom quiz cover, I want to put into the first view because that's the first view people will see, the cover of this quiz, the customized cover. So I can click, I'm holding down shift on my keyboard to select all items, I just click the last one, and then I can literally just drag these into view one. So now, within the header section, I have one view, which is all of the elements that make this custom quiz cover. Now, in order to move people from view one into view two, they would want to click on take the quiz, or I want them to click on take the quiz, so that when they do, the quiz questions appear for them. So what I'm gonna do now is just click on the element that I'm wanting people to click in order to trigger the quiz, which is this button. You can see the element itself highlighted over here. And then on the right menu, I'm gonna click on click action. From here in the link section, I will change the type to canvas. I will change the canvas to this canvas and I'll change the canvas view to next. I want to uncheck this box of scrolling to canvas. This way, when someone clicks this button, take the quiz, the quiz will automatically appear. It won't scroll to a different section of the page or anything like that. Now we have to make the second view so that when someone clicks this button, they can go see the quiz questions. So back over on the left menu, I'm going to click on the three dots in line with the header section we're working with, and I'm going to click add canvas view. And you can see here now I have view two. So if I click on view one, here's everything that we were doing before. And if I click on view two, I haven't made that view yet. So at the bottom on this little element uh, adding icon, let's click on embed code. And you can drag and resize this to your liking. This is the frame that your quiz will appear in. So once this is set up to your liking, we're gonna head over to Interact to grab the custom code for your quiz. Now that I'm in my Interact account, I will find the quiz that I'm wanting to embed and I'll click on share and embed. From here, click on the embed code tab and then choose the JavaScript option. I wanna keep this um, embed option checked so that the quiz does auto resize to uh, fit the quiz content. I also want to disable the cover page on my quiz and I want to redirect host page on redirect. Now remember, this setup will only work if you have custom quiz result pages, meaning you're not actually using the result pages from within your Interact account, but you've created your own URLs, your own web pages that house all of the result information. This 
This way, when someone finishes taking your quiz, they're, they're automatically sent to that custom URL or that quiz result page that you've created instead of the page within Interact. The reason that you want to make sure that your own, you've created your own quiz result pages on your own URL is so that when someone finishes answering the questions of your quiz, they're automatically taken to the full result page. If you're not rerouting them to a full result page, then they're only going to see their quiz result within the embed frame that we've just added on to show it. And I can show you what I mean by that in just a minute. Once I have these um, options selected, I'll click on copy code and head back over to show it. Back in show it, we're still on view two and we have our iframe right here. We're going to click on embed info over on the right menu and then click on the custom code uh, box. Here we will paste in the custom code from Intrax. So this is the code to your quiz and we will click save. Note that your quiz doesn't always appear in this preview box. Let's hit publish and we can check out what our quiz looks like on our website live. And this is what our website looks like live. When somebody clicks take the quiz, they're able to start taking the quiz right from your web page directly. Then they can subscribe to your email list. And when they do, they are taken all the way to your custom quiz result landing page. In this case, I've linked our blog post to show you how you can customize your result pages and the different looks that you can give them. As mentioned earlier, if you are not creating custom result pages, so to a specific URL that you've created, this is what's going to happen. Somebody will click take the quiz. Just like before, they'll be able to answer all your quiz questions. But when they subscribe, the redirect is not happening. So the quiz result appears within the embed frame right here. Now that might be fine. This is easy enough to read. It is kind of a little bit of scrolling because of the condensed width that we have. Um, but if you like this or if your result pages are much shorter, then maybe this look will work for you. Um, but you can see if I keep scrolling, I have the rest of my website that is down below. So just something to note if you are wanting a, I think, a, a little bit better of a look, routing people to the full result page, especially if you're packing it filled with value, just like Jenna Kutcher and Ampersand Studios do, then you're going to want to create your own custom result pages. I will leave you with links on how to do that and the link to the blog on how to create your own custom result pages that will dazzle your audience in the comments below. Any questions on this tutorial or any requests for new tutorials, let us know in the notes. Make sure you hit subscribe for new video tutorials like this so you know all about different ways you can share your quiz online, growing its visibility and ultimately growing your email list.